So in this video, I'm going to be um, talking about how to set up the remote desktop connection that I briefly touched on in my last video. So this will be a little bit more of a technical how-to type of video. I strongly recommend, if you haven't already, going back to seeing my first two uh, videos. So um, just as a quick recap, with remote desktop connection, you can actually run legacy programs or normal Windows programs on your Microsoft Surface RT. Uh, so for example, here is um, Audacity. It's uh, you know pretty responsive. Uh, here is Google Earth. Uh, so it really extends the power of your device to do things that you normally would not be able to do. Okay, so the first thing you want to do is to um, actually download the remote desktop software. Now in Surface it's actually built in. Okay, keep in mind this is Windows 8.1 preview so your experience might be a little bit different. In your list of applications one of the programs that are actually already built in is called remote desktop connection. It's actually a, a desktop application on your Surface RT, one of the few ones that you can run. But just so you're aware, there is actually also a remote desktop program that you can download in the Windows Store. I've tried both. Honestly, I can't tell you that there's any difference. Um, I, I use this one just because it's more touch-friendly, but as far as performance goes, I really have not noticed a difference between the built-in remote desktop and this remote desktop that you download from the Windows Store. But uh, if you wanted to download this one, you just open up your uh, Windows Store and you type in remote desktop and on my machine these two come up first so I will show you this one as well as uh, splash top 2 so before you can uh, run remote desktop you actually need to configure it on your main computer that you're trying to connect to but luckily setting it up only takes a few seconds all you do is go to my computer or this PC uh, and then you click on uh, properties okay this comes up and then you go to uh, remote settings okay then this dialog box pops up all you have to do all you have to do is just click on this button allow remote connections to this computer that's it that's it and then you click OK and that's that's all the setup you have to do if you wanted to connect to your computer from outside your home Wi-Fi network so over the internet there is additional setup that's required but I'm not going to cover that in this video there's lots of resources on Google Okay, so now back to the surface. So after setting that up on your computer, if you go into the remote desktop application, your computer, if you're on the same Wi-Fi network, will automatically be on the list. Uh, give it a few seconds to connect, and boom. This, this is not my Surface RT desktop. This is actually my, uh, my computer's desktop. And it feels, you know, it, it feels like um, it's it's right on here. You can type, it's responsive to both the mouse and um, the finger touch and it's great. So with the remote desktop connection uh, you can do all the regular things um, that you do on a normal computer. Here's um, Google Earth, um, here's Audacity for audio editing, um, you can run some hardcore programs like SolidWorks or uh, Microsoft Visual Studio um, or Photoshop. Uh, so those, it, with remote desktop connection, doing things like this is, is really nice because everything's really responsive, everything works really well, flows really well. But I heard that for media applications, remote desktop connection might not be uh, the best option. So, for example, here's YouTube. Um, now, obviously, you wouldn't really want to do YouTube over remote desktop because you can just do YouTube on the Surface RT itself. Let's open this, make this full screen. Now, you know, to me, I'm not, I guess I'm not a huge media person. So to me, this is fine. You know, let me, sorry, this is an ad. Let me skip that. Um, I don't, you know, there is, okay, there's a little bit of lag that maybe you can notice. Uh, that might bug you. Um, but, you know, it's, for me, it's great. The video comes through great. The, the audio comes through. Uh, if you're wanting to do something that's uh, media intensive, then what I would recommend is uh, Splashtop. Uh, so Splashtop again is a program that you can download. Uh, so I've I already downloaded it to my um, Surface RT and I already set it up on my computer. To set up Splashtop all you do is download 
you can Google Splashtop Streamer. You download Splashtop Streamer. That's all the setup you have to do. So Splashtop. If you set up Splashtop on your machine, your computer will automatically show up, just like in the remote desktop. Um, so connecting to my computer using Splashtop. Beautiful. It, it comes up. Great. Here's the video we were just watching. So let's see how it works on Splashtop. Okay, so I can definitely tell that the picture quality seems better. Um, the video seems smoother. I wouldn't say it's perfect. Uh, it might be a little bit jumpy, but keep in mind, this is watching it from a different computer. But in general, I would say that, yes, Splashtop has a much better video streaming quality than the, the regular remote desktop connection. But one thing that's really cool to do on Splashtop is uh, if you're... Windows has Media Center, you can actually watch live TV on your Surface RT from anywhere. So here's Media Center. In my opinion, Media Center is really built for a tablet. I mean, it's beautiful. Everything works really well um, under the, the, the tablet interface. Um, so here's TV. I set up my Media Center to be able to watch live TV. Uh, I've got a TV tuner. I'm not going to cover in this video how to set up live TV and watching that, but this will give you an idea of what you can use your Surface for. Here's live TV. This is act this is not recorded TV. This is live TV. Okay, so let's let's look at the guide. Um, looks like that's Big Brother. What about uh, Stargate? Let's see. This is Stargate. Okay, what about uh, an HD channel that maybe fills up a little bit uh, more of the screen? Let's look at Shark Tank. Okay, here's Shark Tank. Beautiful! Um, very little lag. HD. Okay, this is live TV on my Surface RT using uh, Windows Media Center. I, this is cool. I actually use this quite a bit. Um, I do have a TV, but sometimes, you know, I just want to be in a different room on, on my uh, couch and being able to watch live TV is awesome. And of course, I've got all my music and other videos and all my library on here. Um, but, you know, to me, I think that being able to, to watch live TV on your surface, that's, that's pretty epic. Okay, so that's mostly what I wanted to show is uh, remote desktop connection and splash top and, and a cool feature that I, I like to use. Um, so really that's all there is to it. Super easy to set up, super easy to download uh, what you need to download and um, again, you know, it just, it just makes the Surface RT that much more functional and that much more fun, um, especially being able to take Media Center uh, with you anywhere and with such a beautiful interface to work with on the tablet. So hope you enjoyed this video. Um, thanks.